These London coffee traders are cupping, similar to wine tasting, to check the quality of rare coffee beans. But there's one beverage that this importer refuses to deal with. It's made using beans found in the droppings of a wild animal, Kopi Luwak. Anybody who scratches the surface of it will see that the supply of wild luwak vastly outseeds the possibility to, to, to collect that amount, and it's quite obviously produced in, in captivity or, or fraudulently. It can cost up to £60 a cup in the UK, but retailers insist it's ethically produced. Posing as importers, we head to Indonesia to investigate Kopi Luwak's production. The craze for the beverage was sparked by the story behind Kopi Luwak. In the 18th century, plantation workers discovered the Luwak, or civic cat, had a taste for coffee berries. The digestive system of the civic cat couldn't handle the stone inside the berry, and this would pass right through their system. It would produce a unique tasting and highly desirable coffee. Gosh, so it's quite a lot. Retailers often reassure their customers that the coffee is collected from wild civic cats that forage freely in the jungle and that the animal isn't harmed. The reality we found was this. Battery farms helping exporters meet increasing global demand. In all, we saw conditions like this on more than a dozen farms in Takangon, North Sumatra, the heart of Kopi Luwak production. These animals are solitary in the wild, they don't want to be this close to each other, simple as that. The cages are completely barren, they're filthy, um, there's nowhere for them to climb, there's nowhere for them to properly hide. Posing as coffee dealers, we met one of the bosses of Sari McMoor. It's a big exporter to the UK. Via a chain of suppliers, its premium brand of Kopi Luwak is sold in Harrods. Every day we will pick the poops off. Sari McMoor's Wahana estate operation is unconnected to the civet farms of cruelty in Takangon. But we wanted to know if their premium brand of coffee is really wild. They're never in any kind of enclosure. It's literally, they're in the jungle. Yeah, in the jungle, they come out during the night time, they eat the cherries and then they just, like, you know, poop everywhere. Right, right. But these photos, taken in December 2010, show a different image. Civet cats on the Wahana estate in some kind of enclosure. The importers we have spoken to, who have toured the Wahana estate, were not shown any captive civic cats, and neither were we. In their response to the BBC's investigation, Sari McMurr later admitted they do have a civic cat enclosure on their Wahana estate, but they say for scientific research. In our caged civic cats program, we study the animal behavior, diet, and its breeding behavior. We breed our own civet cats and then release them in our farm when they're mature enough. We do not sell any of the coffee beans from the caged luwak as it is against our business model. Harrod said their UK supplier of Sari McMoor's Kopi Luwak has given them... Every assurance the coffee we are provided with is organic and comes from wild palm civets. The statement added they were working with the UK supplier to investigate the BBC's evidence. If necessary, we will review the sale of this product. The Kopi Luwak industry relies on trust along every part of the supply chain. While many retailers insist their coffee is ethical, it's impossible to be that confident. Chris Rogers, BBC News, Indonesia.